So we'll take a look now at the partial stroke test and this is invaluable for safety shutdown valves to, to make sure that uh, they're operating as they should so when they are required to come into action you know your process is nice and safe. So we can see here on the wizards there's another partial stroke test wizard um, and of course we've had the partial stroke test on the PS2 for a long while now but we haven't had this advanced functionality with the built-in pressure transmitters. So this is my setup screen. I'll get an error here if I program any of these wrong. So we have to have the valve, it's 100% open um, in my case with a tolerance of 2%. So that's its start position. If it's uh, not within that tolerance then it won't start the uh, partial stroke test. And then we have our end position um, the tolerance on that and then we have some time at the end position and time to, to come back. A new feature for this PS2 is the amount of test cycles. So if you do a, a partial stroke test once every three months the likelihood is that the valve is going to stick on that first uh, stroke test so you get a fail. So it's a simple addition it's the uh, number of cycles uh, that you have to fail at. So we've put three here so it will do three cycles. If it only fails at one then we'll be okay but so, so it needs to fail all three to, to give us a, a, a fault. So we'll go on to next and here we can uh, carry out a, a partial stroke test but what I'm going to do is just tick on this expert mode so we can have a look at what's actually going on in the background. So here we have the expert mode for the partial stroke test and I can see on here my breakout pressures before and after but to be honest my valve is that inconsistent and it, it, it is a diaphragm valve that uh, is heavily reliant on the pressure inside the pipe so um, I just lower both of these to one so the lower the value the more you're letting it uh, drop the pressure to, to allow it to move. So I've loaded those to one, clicked on apply and then we're going to start our test. So as it moves through the test you'll see it populate in these results and again because we have the pressure transmitters we have these breakout pressures and positions that we can use to simplify our KPI recording. So when we're finished we get this reference PST is valid and then we can close this window, we see our results on back on the, the standard um, partial stroke test window, remember we went in on expert and now we can read the uh, trace data. So if we have a look at our trends, there's two trends on here, I'll just adjust the scale on this, so this is the full scale of the valve but we were doing a partial stroke test so we'll just focus in on the top end and it's a little bit like the valve signature test here um, uh, you will see that we have our pressure and our position so we can see the the actual uh, trend or the signature of the partial stroke test and then down here we have the position and the pressure over time so uh, slightly different trend but this is probably the one that's easier to understand because you can see here the step down and then it comes back back up so if we click next so working my way through the wizard I've done my reference partial stroke test and um, you only have to do that the first time so if you come back to this wizard you can just keep clicking next until you get to the test so that is your next um, or your latest if you like partial stroke test you can see I've, I've done one already here um, but it's, the process is the same, I can start in expert mode um, but uh, if I click start stop it will perform my latest partial stroke test. So when I've finished my latest uh, partial stroke test or the last partial stroke test I can go and look at the trace diagram if I want um, but there's a better way to, to do that so if we move on to the next stage here we have the um, uh, interval for the partial stroke test so um, I've set this to do it every day and your valve needs to be 
within the percentage limit that you've specified in your settings. So if you, if you remember back, I said that my start position is 100% and the, the tolerance on that um, it was either 5 or 10%. If it's outside of that tolerance, it, it will not start the uh, partial stroke test. So I'll click finish. And then if I go to my diagnostics here, I've got my valve chart. Um, we've already looked at the valve signature. So if we click on the partial stroke test, what you will see here, if I read from the device, I have the, the option of reading. Um, I've got my reference chart, um, but I can read um, all nine of my um, partial stroke tests. So let's do that. So you can see here that it's finished reading these curves and, and really this is highlighting to me that a lot of R&D work has gone in to improve the processing power of the motherboard on the PS2. There's a lot of information being read back here. So once I've closed that I can see here it's looking a bit busy now but you can turn these on and off with PDM normally. So there we have our curves um, and if you go on here I've got my reference curve and I can turn each one of these on and on uh, via uh, PDM so I can focus on just the one I want to. So if we have a look at the response curve we can have a look at um, any one of these uh, tests that we've done. So let's look at test 8. I don't know where it's up. So here we have test 8 and you can see here my, my time. And you can see the, the, uh, the response steps for that. You can print those again, but really that's not a KPI dashboard, that's, that's something a bit more detailed. Um, so if we close that, under Diagnostics and KPI, you'll see here Partial Stroke Test. This is the beauty of KPIs, they simplify our results for us. Uh, I understand really that you know looking at a valve signature is quite powerful, and, and we can overlay those and see see you know really advanced diagnostics and KPIs really focus on simplifying that data and you can see here here's my reference um, which um, has got today's date on and then you've got my last two tests there which I've also done today and these are my results so I'm, I'm basically monitoring these you know these these breakout pressures and return pressures to make sure that that nothing mechanically is going wrong with the valve. Um, that's proving that something's wrong and there's more advanced diagnostics in, in the background to really get to, to the bottom of what is uh, you know, causing the, the mechanical asset to, to fail. So there you have it, a look at the partial stroke test, the new KPI dashboards and really highlighting the power of the new processor with how many curves it's really saving on there and, and I hope you can appreciate that getting this data off to the cloud gives us better traceability over a long period of time on what is happening with your mechanical pneumatic valve positioner on site. So thanks for listening, please share this video with your friends and colleague. As always your support is very much appreciated, keep safe and I hope to see you soon.